Okay, so in the last video, we installed Composer. Now, if you're watching this video, then what that probably means is that you had an error while in while installing Composer, so you weren't able to successfully do it. And that's what we're gonna go over today, is we're gonna help you get the rest of the way. Now, you could either click on this top error, access denied error, to get to that video, or you're watching the video that we're on right now, which is that there's no such file in that directory error. Okay, so we're not going to be worrying about this. We're just going to be worrying about this second error. And um, if you don't have the Composer installed or you actually haven't watched the first video yet, go ahead and click on that first um, on that box now and just to go back to that video and watch that one first. And if you're still having problems, you can come back to this video then. Okay, so first things first, we want to, if you're getting this error, what that indicates is that um, the folders that you are trying to move into, the user local bin folder, does not exist. The most common reason for that is that you're using a brand new computer that you haven't done much with, or at least you haven't done a whole lot of programming or development with. And so these, the user local bin is a folder that we use a lot. Like when you install MySQL, if you install MySQL on your Mac, it runs all sorts of programs in there. Um, there's a lot of stuff that gets put during the development process in there if you're running Ruby or you're running um, you know, MySQL and these other programs. And so if you've done a lot of development for it before, then that normal like move action works really, really well. But if you haven't, if you're new to this or you're running on a brand new computer um, or something like that and you're installing Composer on those type of devices, then you're probably running into this problem. And so all we gotta do is pretty much create those folders. The only problem is that they're hidden folders. And so that means we have to do it through, we can't use the finder in order to do it. We actually have to do it through the terminal. So we're gonna have a little bit of a terminal lesson and then we're gonna create those folders and then we're gonna move it and you'll be able to successfully use Composer. Okay, so now I'm running in a um, on a new computer. So this is a brand new Mac that's never been run before. And the reason I wanted to do it on here is because if you've never been in the terminal before, it's very likely that you don't have um, that user local bin folder. And so you're gonna get all sorts of errors when that happens. Um, so let's go ahead and we're gonna open up our terminal. Now, if you've never done it before, you'll just go to, obviously you're gonna go to um, the applications folder, utilities, and then the terminal, just like we did before. Um, okay, and then from here, what we're gonna do is we're at our root folder now, and we've already installed, let's go ahead and let's um, install Composer. So we're going to go to um, curl, cap, lowercase s, capital S, H-E-T-P-S, colon, slash, slash, getcomposer.org, slash installer, and a pipe and PHP, or you can go to the website and just copy and paste, that'll work too. Um, let me just make this a little bigger. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and click enter and that's gonna go ahead and install the program just as we did before. I haven't installed it on this computer yet, so that's why I needed to go ahead and do it. Okay, so just like before, remember this is a fresh computer. Um, I've got it located in my root directory and now we need to move it. Um, so let's go ahead and try that. And I just wanna show you what, what might happen for you. So we're gonna go ahead and move it to, um, we're gonna move, move composer.far to user local bin composer. And we're gonna click enter. All right, now this is the error that you might be seeing. And if it says move, rename here to there. Um, it says no such file or directory. So if you're getting this message, what it just means is that it's trying to you're trying to move something into this folder structure, but this these folders don't exist. So let me show you a couple commands to get started. So the first command you need to know in order to use the terminal, I'm gonna clear out my terminal and I do that by using command K. Um, so command K and I clear out the terminal. You can see that we're in the root. That's what this, um, this little squiggly means. It means we're at the root of J.A. Curtis. And if you type ls, it's gonna list all the files in this root. So you can see that I've got Composer chilling out here in my root folder, as well as my desktop, which you've seen before, your documents, your downloads, your libraries. Now let's take a look real quick down here at um, the Finder. And you'll notice probably the exact same thing. If you go up to go, go, and then go to your, um, go to home, Okay, so if you go to home, you're in the J.A. Curtis directory, and you'll see the similarities here. So um, just like we were, we're in the home directory right now, and we typed ls, we're listing all the files, and you can see that we have a desktop, just like we have desktop there. You have documents, downloads, movies, music, 
Um, and we can see all that here, documents, downloads, movies, music, um, the public. And these are all the exact same thing. And then there's a file that's just chilling here called composer.far, and that's what this one is here. It's composer.far. So we have this executable um, Linux file, and now what we're doing is we need to move it into a structure that we can't actually access through the finder because it's a it's in hidden files. So the the so the finder actually hides a lot of these files from us because you really should know what you're doing in, before you mess with these files because you could actually break your computer pretty badly. And that's why they don't show it in the finder is they don't want your grandma to go in here and start um, you know, messing with the user local files because it could cause some serious problems if you don't know what you're doing. So what Mac has done is they actually hide it in the finder so we can't access these files in the finder. Um, and we need to use the terminal to access it. But I want you to see how it, it's exactly the same. Um, that's how this is working, is that we're looking at literally um, a direct copy here of both these. So this, this finder is a visual representation of what we're looking at in the terminal. So when you click LS, you're just listing all the files. Now, if you type CD, you're gonna change directory. That means you're gonna move. So we're gonna change directory into the user file. And um, let's go ahead and click user cd slash user and that tells us to go into the user file um, folder I mean and you can see that we're now in the user because before we were in the home that's what this little squiggly meant now we're in the user folder and let's type ls now to see what is in our user folder okay so we can see that we have a folder called bin we have a x11 folder we've got a bunch of other fin bins but we don't have a local folder. So if you remember, what were we doing before? Let's go back. I just clicked the up arrow to get to these other commands that we typed before. And you can see that we tried to go to user and then into another folder inside of user called local. But you can see that we're in user right now and we typed ls to see what folders are in here. And there's no folder called local. And so that's the problem we're running into. So we need to make a folder called local. And then inside of local, we need another folder called bin and then we should be able to move our composer folder because we would have um, we'd have all these already created and that's what we need to do okay so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this and let's go ahead and make our local folder so because we're in this um, user folder right now that's what it's saying it's saying we're inside user we never whatever command we type here um, is going to be um, ran inside of user so we're going to run a fly, um, a command called mkdir, and this means make directory. A directory is a folder, so we're going to make a folder, space, and the name of the folder. We're going to call it local. So just click enter, and you can see here I got it says permission denied. So what we need to do is we need to say, we need to tell the terminal that we know what we're talking about, and so we're going to type sudo, s-u-d-o. It means super user and we're gonna run as a super user and that means basically we're saying I know you think it's unsafe but we know what we're doing run whatever I ask you to do run it anyway um, instead of trying to you know think you're smarter than me here so that's what sudo means so we're gonna type sudo and then whatever we type after sudo it's gonna do it no matter what and so we'll type the exact same thing again make directory local and now it's gonna be forced to do it so we click enter and just to make sure we really know what we're talking about and we're, we are who we say we are, it requires us to type in a password. So I typed in my password here. You're not going to get any indication that you typed in a password. It doesn't show little stars or dots or anything. So you just have to trust it and then click enter. And then you can see that there was no error. And in the terminal, when there's no error, that means it's successful. You don't get nice little pop-ups that say, congratulations, you did it. Um, it's But you do get big, nasty errors when something goes wrong. So here we didn't see anything happening it just it just did the next line and that's actually a good sign that means it was successful so if we type ls again keep in mind we're inside the user folder so we're same thing we did up here we typed ls inside the user folder we're going to do it again and see if anything changed well what we can see here is our folders changed a little bit we now have a folder called local and that's exactly what we wanted so let's go inside of that folder called local and we're going to make another folder so we're going to go cd to change directory. We're going to go into the folder called local and click enter. And now you can see that local is where we're currently at. And let's type ls again to see what's inside of our local folder. Oh, there's nothing. No surprise. We just barely made it. We haven't put anything in there. So let's do it again. Let's do a make directory. And we're going to make a folder called bin. Why are we making a folder called bin? 
just because if you remember up above we were going we were trying to put something in a folder called user local bin so we're going to make a folder called bin once again permission denied we need to do sudo sudo make directory bin okay now we've made the folder called bin if we type ls you can see that there's a folder inside our local folder called bin and we can cd into bin if we wanted but we don't really need to um, but it just kind of shows that we're now inside of the bin folder. So now we've created the structure that we want. So now we have a place to move the composer file. So let's type CD without anything after it. And it's going to just and click enter and it's going to take us back to the root. And you can see that here with the little, the little squiggly. Okay, now you don't need to do this, but I'm going to click control K or sorry, command K. And that just clears my screen. You can keep going, but I just wanted to clean it up so it, you can see everything. Now we're going to run it one more time. So we're going to do, um, we're going to move the file composer.for. Now remember, we can do that because we're in the root folder and there's already, see composer.for is running inside of our root. So we're saying just grab composer.for from the root and move it to user slash local slash bin. And we're going to call it composer. And we're going to click enter. Of course, we have permission denied. So let's do it again with sudo, sudo move composer.far um, into user local bin. And we're gonna call it composer. Enter. Again, it didn't give us an error and that's a great sign. That means it worked. You also saw, if you maybe noticed, you saw this fold, this file disappeared and that's because we moved it. So it's no longer here. And so um, it's now currently in the right place. So if we really want to, let's go ahead and let's just do CD and we're going to type um, uh, user local bin to go inside the bin folder that we made earlier and then type LS and sure enough we see composers in there now. So now it's working. I'm going to CD back to the root directory and we're going to just try it out and make sure everything worked. Now all we need to do is type composer. And if everything worked great, when we click enter, we should get composer and we did. So you can see now the composer is running. Okay, so that's how you get composer up and running and that's how you kind of avoid some of those errors. Now, if you found this video helpful, go ahead and leave a comment below. Just let me know, I appreciate hearing the great feedback. Um, you can follow me on Twitter, I'm at underscore J.A. Curtis. So you got a little underscore, J-A-C-U-R-T-I-S. I love shout outs on Twitter, so give me a holler on there and I'll um, give you a follow and a, and a holler back. Um, so that's always great. Again, like the video, all the normal stuff. Um, and then for more videos like this and more tutorials, just follow me at, J, at um, jacurtis.com. And I got all sorts of great content on there. So I invite you to go over there um, to see more. Thanks a lot.